Hey, everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Dr. Val. Thank you for joining me today. Listen, if you're new to my channel, you are in the right place. If you want to be encouraged, motivated, uplifted, and pushed ever so gently into your destiny that God has for you. On this channel, we talk all things soul healing and soul health, S-O-U-L, because we understand that you will only prosper as your soul prospers. So stay with me today, sister friends, as we talk about running with your high heels on. Hey, welcome back. We have a good topic today, running with your high heels on. This is even the title is power pack, right? So running with your high heels on. So the first thing I want to talk about is what is running? What is running? Well, let me say this. Let me put this to you. One, first, most times running is an act of your will because we know we have the option to walk. We have the option to skip. We have the option to jump. We have the option to jog. So when you run, most times it's an act of your will, except when someone's chasing you. So we're not talking about that. So first, running is an act of your will. You choose to run because most of us, we're going to walk to where we need to go. We're not running unless we're late, right? So you see people on the track. We see people in marathons. So from that standpoint, running is an act of your will. But what else is it? Running is a motion that gets you somewhere faster than you would if you were walking, right? So when you run, and it is an act of your will, depending on the situation and the circumstance, when you run, that means that you are trying to get somewhere faster. Yes? Uh-huh. So running is an act of your will that when you do this act, it gets you somewhere faster than it would normally take it than if you were walking. That's the first, that's the first two things we need to understand and why I am, excuse me, you guys, why I am talking about running with your high heels on. Okay, so now I thought that was important to say because when we go forward and we're talking about this, keep that in mind. I'm talking about you making the deliberate choice to run when you could walk. Now let's talk about high heels. How many of my sister friends out there wear high heels? Listen, I wear them sometimes. I don't know what happened over the years. I don't know. I want to wear them, though, all the time. I think they're sexy. I think they look good. I think they could dress an outfit up. Come on. So high heels. So what are high heels? High heels are shoes that lift you off the ground and put you a little bit higher above the ground than flats would or sometimes platforms would, right? Why do women wear high heels? I just said it. Because you want to dress up. You want to be elevated a little higher off the ground. Your outfit that you have on or whatever you're wearing calls for you to be a little bit above the ground. So we can equate being level to the ground with being casual for our sake of illustration. Yes. So being level to the ground is casual, but being elevated is a different level. It's a different thing, right? So we wear high heels when we want to be elevated and when we want to dress up what we have on. So let's talk about running with your high heels on. So running with your high heels on means this, that you are deliberately choosing to get someone fat, get somewhere faster than you normally would, but you're choosing to do it at an elevated level. Come on, somebody. Come on, girl. 
you know what I'm talking about. You're running, you're getting somewhere faster than you normally would, but you're doing it at an elevated level. Can I tell you that that's the season you're in, sister friend, that you're going to run with your high heels on, that God is going to accelerate you and cause you to not only go farther than you could go or would have gone by yourself, but he's going to cause you to be elevated while you're doing it. That's a clap right there. Come on, running with your high heels on. Running with your high heels on. So listen, you can run with flats. There's nothing wrong with running with flats. There's nothing wrong with running with tennis shoes on. There's nothing wrong with running with, what else can you, sandals. But there, it takes a level of expertise. There is a difference when you see a sister running with them high heels on to catch a taxi, to run through the airport. Come on, running on stage. Come on, come on. You know it's a difference. And then when they add all the sauce and the movements that go with it. So thinking about famous celebrities who dance in high heels and they do all those movements, that takes a skill set and ability that a person who stays in flats normally doesn't need and possibly doesn't have. So when you run with your high heels on and we see you and people see you, you're already telling us, even without talking, that you're in another level. You're at another level, another stratosphere. You have the skill, the talent, and the ability to handle what you're going after. Come on. And you look good doing it. Now, most times, Sister Friends, I know we're not spending money. These glasses are new, y'all. So excuse me. I know you're not spending money on ugly high heels. Who does that? <laughs> Nobody, right? So not only are you going faster than you normally would at an elevated level, you are going to look good doing it. This is what's waiting for you. So I want to encourage you today to keep on going, keep pursuing, keep moving, keep doing what you're doing because elevation and acceleration is coming to you now. In this season of your life, God has a phenomenal plan, Sister Fred, for you. And all you have to do is stay the course. Huh? Keep on going. Keep practicing, keep doing it, keep pursuing it, keep holding on, whatever that thing is, because you're going to run with your high heels on. Nobody's going to be able to stop you. They're not going to be able to touch you. And can I tell you the wonderful thing, the wonderful thing about high heels and the wonderful thing about who you are in God, that 10 other women can have on the same pair of shoes as you, but only you walk the way you walk. Only you do what you do. No matter who is wearing the same pair of shoes as you, when you walk through, when you walk through, right? When they see you coming, they're going to know that you're uniquely you. And you make those shoes, honey, float on air. Because of your ability, your talent, and most importantly, your trust in God. Come on, get the high heels on. Go choose them. And if I were you, some of you will understand this. I would do a prophetic act. I will go get me a pair of high heels, that, or even if you have a pair of high heels, and I will put them somewhere where I could see them every day. And put a reminder that I will be running soon with my high heels on. I'm going to get to where I'm supposed to be faster than anticipated at an elevated rate, looking good while I do it. You should be excited. You should be excited. Go choose them, honey. Get online. Get online and look at the, the cutest high heels you can find. And if you really want to get good, honey, match them with an outfit or not. Right? We don't have to be matchy-matchy. You want some green heels with some yellow pants with an orange shirt. You do you. Whatever you want to do, you do you. 
because nobody's going to be able to stop you. And I'm excited for you. And I'm included in this too. So I'm excited for us because we're running with our high heels on. Get ready for it. You've been waiting for it. You've been praying for it. You've been believing for it. Come on, you've been fasting for it. Some of you've been talking to others and reaching out to many people who can help you. But the season and the time is now. I'm excited. And I'm convinced and I know what I'm talking about. And if you know me personally, for those who know me personally, you know, I don't say what God wants to do without knowing that he said it because that's my daddy. That's my best friend. He's my confidant through Holy Spirit. Come on. He talks to me. And so I'm talking to you today. And so you should be excited because I don't just say stuff to say it. So run with those high heels on. Go buy a pair. Hmm, buy two. Right? And get ready to move at an accelerated rate. All right, sister friend. Congratulations that you're in your next season. Uh, please drop me a note. Drop me a line. Tell me what you're believing for. What season are you believing for? What are you believing for? What does this apply to in your life? When you're running with your high heels on, what does this apply to in your life? Let us know so we can encourage you, so that we can um, be there for you and celebrate with you. That's the most important thing. Celebrate the goodness of God, these glasses, child, in your life. All right. Come on now. All right. So that's it. I know you got it. Play this again and again. Do me a favor. If you like this, share it with other sister friends. I want to get my voice out there. I tell you all the time, we need more positive, more positive voices. Voices. We need more sisters uplifting other sisters, not fighting because there's room for all of us. Because what I do and the way I do it, nobody can beat me being me. And nobody can beat you being you. And so I want to offer this to sister friends who will benefit. So like and share, subscribe. Okay, let's get my numbers up so that these videos will be more readily available for all women, not just the same women, of, not women of faith like me, because I'm a Christian, but all women, all women can benefit from this. All right. So join me next week. And sometimes I know what I'm going to be talking about next week. And uh, yeah, at this moment, I'm, I'm thinking about two things, but just come on back next week and join me and I will see you then. Have a great day. Bye.